guys, what's up? Welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to be doing my ultimate drugstore makeup starter kit. So I asked you guys on my YouTube channel, I did a little poll and I asked you guys to pick one. So the choices that I put were drugstore makeup starter kit, drugstore lippies and lip liners, or best drugstore makeup under $10. And 41% of you voted drugstore makeup starter kit, 31% of you voted for best drugstore makeup under $10, and 28% of you voted for the top drugstore lippies and lip liners. So since most of you voted for the drugstore makeup starter kit, that is what we're gonna be doing in today's video. So I will be filming the other two videos since a lot of you were requesting those as well. So be on the lookout for those because I do wanna film those other two for you guys. But yes, I am super excited to be doing this video. I have all of my drugstore products right here in my makeup bag and I did get this from Target this is by Sonia Kashuk so if you guys you know are interested in purchasing this bag they do still have these at Target um, I did check because I went in Target the other day and I still saw these in there so yes so everything that I pack in here are going to be your essentials so if you are a beginner in makeup and you don't know what to purchase what to start out with. I have everything in here that I definitely recommend. So we're gonna be talking about it all. So products to remove your makeup, products to apply your makeup with, and of course the makeup itself. So if you guys are interested in seeing my drugstore makeup starter kit, then let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so the first thing that you will need are makeup remover wipes. And I feel like that's not just for people who are beginning in makeup, that's pretty much for everybody who is into makeup. You do wanna have some products to to take off the makeup and also to use while you're doing your makeup. So the makeup wipes that I recommend are by Elf Cosmetics. I actually have a lot of Elf products that I'm gonna be mentioning in today's video, but it is not sponsored by Elf. I just love their products. But anyway, yes, these are their makeup removing cleansing cloths. And I pick these over any other drugstore cleansing cloths because for one, they're very gentle on the skin. And I feel like these really do a great job with removing the makeup instead of going into more of the cloth. So that one cloth that you use, it removes pretty much everything on the face. And another thing that I like about these cleansing cloths is these are perfect for travel. You know sometimes when you purchase the cleansing cloths in the drugstore, they don't come with this little flap. And I like that because these are gonna keep them, you know, stored nicely. They're not gonna dry out. And the fact that this has a little top, it's easy to just throw in your purse without it, you know, opening up or anything like that. I like to use these, of course, when I'm taking my makeup off, and I also like to use these when I'm doing my makeup. So if I mess up on the face, I can just easily take one of these and wipe off whatever the product is that I messed up on, especially with the eye products. And also, they are good to remove your lip products. So if you are applying a lipstick and you feel like you don't really like the color, you can easily take that cleansing cloth and wipe off the lipstick. So they're very, very soft, very gentle, and they don't tug on the skin which is what I love now let's talk about makeup applicators so your brushes and your sponges if you do want to wear eyeshadow the makeup brushes that I would recommend um, are by Milani and you can pick these up from Walmart I have mentioned these a few times on my channel and these are a little bit dirty but these do come in a set of three I believe it's called their jet set eyeshadow um, set I believe I forgot but you can definitely pick these up out of Walmart and you can also order them on the Milani website so what I like about these brushes is you have three brushes that can complete a full eye look so the first brush is a blending brush so this is good to apply the shadow in your crease or if you just want to apply that one shadow on the eyes and just you know buff it out you can definitely use this for that and then it comes with a smaller brush and I believe this one can be used to smoke out your bottom lash line so if you just want to apply eyeliner on your eyes and not even any, you know, eyeshadow, you can definitely smoke out your eyeliner with this brush because it's very small and it's going to fit easily under the eyes. Just kind of buff it out and smoke it out. And you can also use it if you want to highlight the inner corner of your eye. You can also place the product with this brush because this is small enough for that. And the other brush that it comes with is a flat shadow brush. So 
This one is a little bit more flat and it's also a little bit more wide. So this is going to be easier to use if you want to use an eyeshadow um, on the lid. So this is going to be easier to use for those um, shimmer shadows that you want to apply or if you just want to apply um, any, just pretty much any eyeshadow, this is easier to use because it is wider and it's going to make that shadow go on so much easier. But these I feel like are definitely an essential for those of you who are just beginning in applying your eyeshadow. So you have three brushes that you can use to create a full eye look with. All right, so when it comes down to face brushes, I would recommend buying a brush set because that's gonna be easier on yourself. If you are wanting a powder brush, a blush brush, a highlighter brush, a contour brush, even a couple of eye brushes, I would recommend just buying a full brush set. The reason is because it is much cheaper to purchase a full brush set than to go out and purchase the brushes by themselves. Now there are tons of brush sets that you can purchase from the drugstores and I don't have any in front of me. I do have a brush set in front of me but you can't purchase it from the drugstore. I will go into that in a few minutes but the ones that I would recommend if you are not going to be ordering any brushes are the ones by Real Techniques. You can get these from Ulta, you can get them from CVS, you can get them from Walgreens. Pretty much anywhere that they sell Real Techniques, you can definitely get a brush set from there. And they have several different brush sets. You can get a set with your foundation brush, powder brush, um, blush brush. They have so many different brush sets that you can pick up. But if I were to recommend any brushes from the drugstore, I would definitely recommend the ones by Real Techniques because they are amazing. But for those of you who don't know, I did collab with a black owned makeup business that is based in the UK and I collabed with them to create a six piece brush set for you guys. I'm pretty sure a lot of you are familiar with my brush set, but I do have a lot of you that are new to my channel. So I wanted to go ahead and, you know, introduce you guys to my brushes. So. You do have a set of six brushes and all of these are dirty because I just used them. I do apologize, but there are six brushes in this set that I feel like are an essential for a full makeup look. So you have your powder brush and this is used to apply the powders on your face if you want to apply a pressed foundation powder or if you want to apply blush you can do that as well or if you just want to apply a you know a translucent powder all over the face you can definitely use this brush for that it also comes with a flat top kabuki brush now this is good for liquid foundations you can use this to buff it out on the face you can also use it for any other type of liquid product so if you want to use a liquid blush or a, um, a cream product like cream concealers or concealers, you can definitely use this brush to kind of buff out that product on the face. And you also have a angled contour brush. Now I know those of you who are just beginning into makeup, you're probably not gonna be getting into contouring the face or you know just anything like that but if you want to apply a little bit of blush you can definitely use this brush for that honestly there are no rules to makeup so whatever you want to use this brush for you can definitely use it as that and it also comes with a tapered highlighting brush now this is one of my favorite brushes from the brush set besides the powder brush and the pencil shader brush which we will get into in a minute but if you want to use this to highlight the face, I mean, I know some of you are, like I said, are just getting into makeup. You're probably not going to want to, you know, go as far as highlighting or contouring or bronzing the face. But if you are wanting to, you know, experiment with highlighters, this brush is going to be good for that because it does do a great job with just applying that highlight on the tops of your cheeks. Or if you want to use this brush to set your under eyes with translucent powder, which we are going to be talking about in a few minutes once we go into the makeup portion of this video. But if you just want to use this to set your under eyes with translucent powder, you can definitely use it as that too because it fits perfectly under the eyes. And the other two brushes in my brush set are for the eyes. You have a pencil shader brush. This is good to buff out the bottom lash line if you're wanting to smoke it out. It's also good to apply the inner corner highlight. And it's also good for shadow on top of the lid as well. So if you want to apply shadow in your crease, you can buff it out with that as well. So you can definitely use these brushes in so many different ways. And the last brush in my set is a eyeliner brush. This is gonna be used for applying eyeliner on your lid. So if you want to apply a cream liner, this is gonna be super easy to use with that because it does have that slant. 
so it's gonna be easy to hold and it's gonna be easy to apply the cream liner on your lid yeah those are all of the brushes that I would recommend if you are a beginner in makeup just you know get a brush set instead of purchasing brushes one by one because the brush set is going to be easier it's gonna be cheaper and you're gonna pretty much have all of your essential brushes in that set. So yes, one more makeup applicator and then we're gonna go into the makeup. And the last one that I wanna talk about is a makeup sponge. This one is by Sonia Kashuk and I have a lot of you always asking me what sponge this is, but yes, it's by Sonia Kashuk and you can get this from Target. And the only way these are gonna work well is if you damp them. So make sure you wet these first and then squeeze out the water. That way they're gonna expand and it's gonna make the foundation go on so much better on the skin. So I use the flat side to apply my foundation and when you're applying the products on your face, you don't want to rub it. The reason is because if you rub the sponge on your face, you're pretty much just rubbing the product off. So that just pretty much defeats the purpose of applying the product on the face. So make sure you're tapping the sponge on the face and when you use tapping motions, it just makes the foundation look so much more natural on the skin. So I like to use this for my foundation and I also like to use it for my concealer. So I just use the point side of the sponge for my concealer when I'm applying it under my eyes. I just use it to tap the concealer out. And then for my chin, the bridge of my nose and also my forehead, I just tap it like that. So yeah, so beauty sponges are definitely an essential for those of you who are beginning in makeup because I feel like they're so much more easier to use if you don't want to use a makeup brush. So definitely try these out. You can again purchase these from Target. So now let's go into the makeup. So we're gonna try to go in order of how you apply your makeup. And the very first thing that you'll need is a primer. Now I do like to moisturize my face first before applying any primers. And if you do want to um, try out any moisturizers, I definitely recommend the one from Elf Cosmetics. This is called their Daily Hydration Moisturizer. And I love this moisturizer because it is super duper lightweight on the skin. It's not oily. It doesn't make the skin look greasy. It just really soaks in really, really fast. And I just like how it just feels very light on the skin. You can definitely wear it under your foundation. It doesn't make your makeup look cakey. It's very, very lightweight and it smells really, really fresh. So this is one that I would highly, highly, highly recommend for those of you who have not really tried out any moisturizers or anything like that. So this one will be a good one to try out first. And as far as primers, there are tons of primers from the drugstore. I do have a separate video on all of my favorite primers, which I will have linked down below if you guys missed that video. I have the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer, which you guys know I talk about this so much on my channel, but I just want to go ahead and mention it again because those of you who are new to my channel and don't know, you know, a good drugstore primer to start out with, e.l.f. primers are good to start out with because they have so many different ones. So this one is the one that I like to use. Again, it is the hydrating face primer. So this is gonna be good for those of you who have dry skin. I don't have dry skin, but I like how it makes my foundation look so smooth on the skin and I like how it just makes my foundation last all throughout the day. And I have another one by e.l.f. This is the poreless primer. So if you have large pores, this is gonna be good to just smooth out the pores and make the skin look so, so smooth before applying your foundation. And they have other ones. I think they have a mattifying primer. They have so many other different primers by e.l.f. So if you have never tried out any primers, I would recommend e.l.f. Cosmetics being the first brand to try out a primer with because they have so many different selections. And they're also good for sensitive skin. So highly recommend the ones by e.l.f. if you guys have not tried out any products from e.l.f. All right, so when it comes down to your foundation, I feel like this is going to be the most trickiest part when you're beginning in makeup because for one, you don't know what shade you're gonna need. Um, and I know in drugstores, there's no samples. Um, the ones that I've been in, I have not seen any samples in the drugstore. So if you're wanting to wear foundation, I personally would recommend starting out with a foundation stick instead of a liquid foundation. And the reason why that I recommend a foundation stick first before going into a liquid foundation is because foundation sticks are easier to use, they're easier to work with, and they're not as messy as a liquid foundation. And I have two that I recommend. One is by Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Foundation Stick. I have the shade Coconut, and this is what it looks like once you twist it up. I've actually mentioned this product 
so many times on my channel in the past if you guys have been rocking with me for a while you guys know but the other one is by L'Oreal this is actually a newer one this is the L'Oreal infallible longwear foundation stick and I wear the shade Coco so these are kind of similar but this one is super messy I have been wearing this one so much but the one by um, L'Oreal is actually gonna give you more coverage than the one by Maybelline this one by Maybelline is gonna control your shine so if you have oily skin this is gonna be good to control the shine because this is a shine free foundation stick and then this one by L'Oreal it's a little bit more dewy on the skin but it's going to give you more coverage than the one um, by Maybelline. So these are the ones that I would recommend. If you do want to try out liquid foundations, the ones that I recommend are by CoverGirl and also L'Oreal. Let's talk about this one really quick. Um, this is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup. Now these do not come with a pump. I went ahead and applied the pump from my ColourPop foundation onto this because I don't really use that foundation as much and I have really been getting into this foundation. I just recently tried this out. Um, I did a makeup swap with my girl Saida here on YouTube and she sent me this foundation. This is actually a different shade. This is Coco C8. So the shade that she sent me did not really match my skin so I went ahead and purchased another one. But I have been really loving this foundation. This is going to give you a good amount of coverage on the skin. It's going to blend out really nicely and it matches really good so this has a ton of different shades in the drugstore so they have a good shade selection so I definitely recommend the CoverGirl True Match and I feel like this is the foundation that a lot of people start out with so I'm just kind of late with trying it out but yes definitely recommend this one and then I have the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation this is going to be good for those of you who have oily skin and it's also good for those of you who have dry skin because it's not too mattifying on the skin it's very comfortable on the skin it does give you a full coverage and it lasts all day on the skin it looks absolutely flawless on the skin but yes this is the covergirl true blend matte made foundation in the shade d50 next we're going to go into the concealers and i have a separate video on all of my favorite drugstore concealers so i will have that video down below in the description but concealers are used to um conceal the face so if you have dark spots in your skin or if you have any discoloration on the skin or if you have dark under eyes you can use concealers to correct those areas Areas on the face so I like to use my concealer to spot conceal so wherever I have dark spots in the face I'll just apply a little bit of concealer there and just kind of blend it out now the thing with the concealers is if you don't want to go with the trouble with um, applying foundation you can just use a concealer so wherever it is on the face that you feel like needs correcting so if you have dark under eyes or if you have dark spots in your skin just apply a little bit of concealer, blend it out, and then you can actually go on top of that with a pressed powder, which we will go into in a minute. So you definitely don't have to use a foundation. Foundations are just for those of you who are wanting that extra coverage on the face. You can definitely skip out on the foundation step. Concealers are what I use to apply under my eyes just to kind of brighten them up. And I also use it on my chin, my nose, and also my forehead. So pretty much anywhere that the light hits on the face is where you want to brighten up the skin. So I have two concealers that I would recommend. And again, like I said, I do have a separate video on all of my favorite concealers. But one is by Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I have this shade Cafe. And then I have another one by Maybelline. It is the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Now, this one has like a little sponge applicator and you just twist it up and you can easily apply Apply it on the skin very easy to use which is why I recommend this one for those of you who are beginning in makeup this is in the shade tan and then the other one by Maybelline which is the fit me concealer this one has like a doe foot applicator so this is also going to be easy to apply you just apply it on the skin like that and then just kind of blend it out either with your finger or with a beauty sponge or with a brush so these are ones that I love 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 from the drugstore and I definitely recommend for those of you who are beginning in makeup oh and I also forgot to mention with the concealers um, usually I get a shade that's a little bit lighter than my normal skin tone so that way you can actually see it 
brighten up the skin but if you want to use a concealer instead of using foundation I would get a concealer that matches your skin tone so if you just want to use it to spot conceal or just to um, use it anywhere on the face that you have a discoloration just get a concealer that's gonna match your skin tone instead of getting a concealer that's a little bit lighter so that way it can look more natural on the skin all right so after you apply your foundation and your concealer you're gonna want to make sure that you set the face so setting the face is gonna allow your makeup to stay put all day long and the setting powders that I recommend um, are actually little compacts because these are easier to use the ones that are loose I mean they can get really really messy and I don't recommend those of you who are like just 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 getting into makeup I don't recommend getting those because like I said they can get really messy they're not as easy to use as a little compact and plus these you can just store in your purse your makeup bag and go but the first one I want to talk about is by soap and glory this is called the one heck of a blot now if you have been watching me for a while you guys know I talk about this non-stop on my channel but I wanted to mention this one because this is good to set the concealer and it's also good to blot your face this comes with like a little um a little pad inside I don't have it but it does come with those and that's easy to apply when you're on the go so if your face starts to get oily you can just apply a little bit of this wherever your face is getting oily and it looks clear on the face like it doesn't go on white it actually soaks in to where it looks translucent so this is good to use to blot your face and I also like to use it to set my under eye concealer so I can use it um, in two different ways which is what I love about this product so you can pick this up from CVS this is also sold at Target now the cheaper alternative to that powder would be the Rimmel London stay matte translucent powder now this is another pressed powder it comes in like a little packaging like this this is also good to set your under eyes and this one is a little bit more matte than the one by Soap and Glory. So this one's actually going to keep your makeup um, in place longer than the one by Soap and Glory. So if you have oily skin, this is going to be your best bet. So I feel like I'm saying so, so many times. Now you can apply these with a brush or you can apply these with a sponge. I like to use my tapered highlighting brush from my brush set to apply my powders with. So you just apply it like this under the eyes and you're good to go. So these are definitely good to set everywhere on the face. If you want to use them all over the face or if you just want to set your concealer with these, you can definitely do that. I like to use translucent powders to set my concealers and for the rest of my face I like to use pressed foundation powders and the ones um, or the one that I recommend is by Black Radiance. They have several different shades. This is in the shade Rich Mahogany and I just use this pretty much around the perimeter of my face. This is what I like to use to set my liquid foundation or my stick foundation or even if I don't even wear a liquid foundation or a stick foundation. If I just want to use a concealer to spot conceal and then go on top of that with a powder this is the powder that I would recommend using because it's very light on the skin it's not heavy and it blends out like a dream so this again is in the shade rich mahogany this comes with a little brush which I don't have inside but I do want to say some of these products that you get from the drugstore like eyeshadow palettes or powders don't throw the little brushes away because if you are just starting out with makeup I feel like the brushes that the products come with are definitely beneficial so if you don't have makeup brushes or you know products to apply your eyeshadows with definitely keep the little brushes that they come with like the little um, sponges I know eyeshadow palettes come with those little which I have one right here um, they come with these little sponge applicators and also a little brush like this is from um, one of my elf cosmetics eyeshadow palettes, but definitely don't throw these applicators away because you can definitely use these um, If you're starting out with makeup and don't know how to use a makeup brush These are good to start out with because they do have these little sponge applicators at the end and these are super easy to apply those Shadows with so definitely don't throw these away. So when I first started wearing makeup I never wore a blush, but those of you who want to wear blushes and you don't know where to start out with like what blushes to start out with from the drugstore definitely try the ones by milani and i have their baked blushes right here these are some of the best drugstore blushes and the thing that i like about the milani blushes is they have a really pretty soft sheen to them so they're not flat they're not matte 
they just have a really nice sheen to them and it looks really pretty on the skin it almost looks like you're wearing a blush and a highlighter so if you don't want to go through the trouble with finding a good drugstore highlighter or if you don't know how to apply a highlighter definitely try the Milani blushes because these are gonna make it look like you have on a blush and a highlighter at once so uh, this is in the shade Rose de Oro and then I have the one which is my all-time favorite one which is red vino this y'all this is my favorite drugstore blush of all time it's so so pretty and i feel like it can definitely complement any skin tone and another reason why i recommend these is because at the bottom of them you have a little mirror and it also comes with a little brush with it which i don't have so yes definitely recommend these so when it comes down to eyeshadow I know some of you do not want to bother with eyeshadow you just want to apply maybe some mascara or some eyeliner but for those of you who want to try out eyeshadow I do have one eyeshadow palette that I feel like would be a good essential for those who are just getting into makeup who are wanting to experiment with shadows you know just shadows in general and the one is by NYX this is the ultimate shadow palette in the shade warm neutrals this is a good starter palette because when you're just starting with makeup you may just want to use colors that are not you know bold or bright just something very good and neutral and just kind of like an everyday you know like an everyday look so I feel like this palette is perfect for that you have warm tones you have cool tones so if you're not into warm tones but you're into cool tones this palette has that for you or if you're not into cool tones but you're into warm tones you have that so you can do smoky looks with this palette you can do a nice soft everyday look with the palette you can do several different looks and also the shadows in here are so so easy to use so easy to blend and they are super pigmented on the eyes and I just feel like the palette itself is so underrated not a lot of people talk about this palette and this is just the perfect first eyeshadow palette I feel like for those you know who are just beginning in makeup and another thing is you have mattes and you also have metallics I'm gonna go ahead and swatch some of these for you guys because like I said I feel like this palette is definitely 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 underrated let me swatch them look at the pigment like that is crazy so here is look at that like hello I'm gonna swatch a matte look at that these are crazy pigmented and then there's another matte I actually want to swatch one more for you guys so you guys can really see um, the pigmentation like look at that I'm gonna do a close-up the shades in here are so pretty and they're like the perfect everyday beginner friendly colors so I highly recommend this palette they have other palettes like this but this one I definitely feel like is like the perfect beginner friendly eyeshadow palette and another thing is is if you don't have brushes like if you don't have any eye brushes you can still work with shadows with your finger so just put your finger in the shadow and then tap it on the eye and you're good to go all right it's time to touch up my lips because I feel like they're drying out oh by the way this is by Rimmel London this is their Provocalypse and they have new shades in these I don't know if you guys remember when these came out but they have new shades and this one is called lazy yeah lazy days which i am loving super cute but i'm going off subject so when it comes down to eyeliners i recommend using an eyeliner that's going to be easy to apply super creamy very smooth and the one that i recommend is by l'oreal i actually have two of them by l'oreal so the first one is their silka seam um eyeliner this is a black one what i like about this one is it glides on super super smooth it's not gonna tug the eye it just goes on very smooth very easy and this is definitely one of those good liners to use if you are really new to makeup and you want something that's going to apply really really easily so again this is by L'Oreal and it is the Silka Seam eyeliner the other one I have is also by L'Oreal and I have used this one up like crazy this is their infallible long wear eye pencil so this is also really similar to the Silka Seam but the thing about this one is it's actually matte 
So the silka seam, um, it doesn't go on as matte as this one. So if you want a um, an eyeliner that's gonna look matte on the eyes and that's gonna glide on really, really easily, the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Eyeliner is definitely that one for you. But this is what they look like close up so that way you guys can know what they look like once you go in the drugstore looking for them. All right, so when it comes down to eyebrows, when I started wearing makeup, I never, 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 never did my brows. I used to just go and get them done like I would get them waxed and that's it. I never filled them in or anything like that. But if you are wanting to fill your brows in, um, I don't have the product in front of me to show you guys, but there is a, um, I forgot what it's called, but it is by, Ma I believe it's by Maybelline or L'Oreal, but it's a tinted brow gel. So that kind of looks like, um, it kind of looks like a mascara. I don't have it in front of me to show you guys, but when you open up a mascara, you see that there's like these little bristles. Um, but this is a product for your brows and you can get them from the drugstore. I know L'Oreal has them. I know CoverGirl has them. I know, um, Rimmel London has them. A lot of the brands in the drugstore have their own brow products and you can definitely get a brow gel or a tinted brow gel and use those to just fill in your brows. They're super, super, super easy to use. I would recommend them over a brow pencil simply because it's gonna be easier for you to work with. So with a brow pencil, um, it's a little bit more tricky to use, but if you use like a brow gel or a brow, um, a tinted brow gel, it's gonna make the brows look more natural. It's gonna make the hairs look more natural than with a brow pencil. But if you wanna use a brow pencil, the ones that I recommend are by CoverGirl. These are my all time favorite brow pencils from the drugstore. This is called the Easy Breezy Brow Define Pencil in the shade Soft Brown. So this comes with a little spoolie at the end. This is what you're gonna wanna use to brush your brow hairs with. And it also comes with a twist up side which has the product. This is what you use to kind of fill your brows in. Now I do have a brow tutorial on my channel. It's not recent. I did film this in the past, but if I can find it on my channel, I'll be more than happy to link it down below for you guys. But yes, you can use a tinted brow gel or you can use a brow pencil. Now you can use other brow products like a brow pomade, but to be honest with you guys, I don't use that product and I definitely don't feel comfortable with recommending that product because I've never used it. With a brow pencil I've used and also with a brow tinted gel I've used. I just don't use the gels anymore, but those are gonna be super easy to use over a brow pencil. So when it comes to lashes, I feel like when you're just starting out with makeup, um, false lashes are really not an essential. So I would recommend getting a mascara that's gonna look like you have on false lashes. And the ones that I suggest are by Essence. And I know I rave about these a lot on my channel simply because they are actually really, really good. So one of my new favorites by Essence is called their Super Curl Volume Mascara. So this one is gonna give you volume and it's also going to curl your lashes. So if you have straight lashes, and you're needing that extra volume and that extra curl, then definitely try this one out. This one does have a nice curled wand, which I think I showed you earlier in today's video, but this is a nice curled wand. Let me do a close up so you guys can see it better. If you're familiar with the um, Lash Curler Mascara by Benefit Cosmetics, this one is very, very similar to that one. And then another one that I recommend by Essence is called their Lashes of the Day Super Volume Mascara. Now this one is not really gonna curl your lashes, but this one is gonna give you a ton of volume on your lashes. So if you have really, really thin and short lashes like myself, this one is gonna make your lashes look more thick, longer, and it's just gonna give you that extra volume, which is awesome. So if you don't want to wear any false lashes and you need that extra, you know, that extra oomph to your lashes, definitely try out these mascaras. Woo! We're finally down to the very last few products, which are lip products and also a setting spray. So lip products, you can do anything you want. You can do any lipsticks, you can do a lip gloss, you can do a liquid lipstick. So as far as the glosses, I feel like NYX has the best glosses from the drugstore. Now I have owned several of the glosses and the only two that I could find for this video are the Intense 
butter glosses. They have other glosses that are not as intense as these. Um, they are still shining on the lips, but the intense butter glosses are more shiny and they're more pigmented. I think they're just called the butter glosses, but those were my very first glosses from NYX. And the very first color that I purchased, I remember it to this day, is called um, Strawberry Parfait. And oh my God, I think I went through maybe like three of those. Those were the glosses that I would wear every single day. I wish I had the color in front of me, but it's a really, really pretty pink but it's not like super duper pigmented. It's actually a good wearable pink that you can definitely wear with pretty much any makeup look. But that was my very first gloss from NYX. I remember it like it was yesterday. Um, and the shade again was called Strawberry Parfait. Ooh, that rhymed. But these two are their intense butter glosses. So these are gonna be more shiny on the lips. They're also more pigmented as well. So I have the shade Chocolate Crepe and I also have the shade Oatmeal Raisin. Next, also have their Soft Matte Lip Creams. These are gonna be matte on the lips. They're not gonna be glossy, they're not gonna be shiny. These are very matte and natural looking. So if you're wanting to experiment with a liquid lipstick, then I would recommend trying out the ones by NYX first before you go into trying out other ones from other brands because these are gonna be super comfortable. They're definitely long wearing and they're not drying as um, some of these other liquid lipsticks are from other brands. I feel like NYX is the best brand to start out with when going for lip products because they have tons and tons and tons of lip products. They have glosses. They have lipsticks, they have lip liners. They honestly have so many to choose from and I just feel like everybody can find either their perfect shade, their perfect finish, like, like it's endless, I promise you. All right, so now that you have all of your makeup on, the very last thing that you wanna do is set everything with a spray. And the one that I recommend is by CoverGirl. This is the CoverGirl Look Locked Up All Day Setting Spray. This is going to just lock in your makeup and just make it last so much longer on your skin all day long. So even though you already went ahead and set your makeup with your setting powder, it's still good to set your makeup with a setting spray once you get done applying everything on the face. And I know I did a video on my favorite primers and setting sprays and I did not mention this one in the video but I have actually been loving this one recently so I wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys this is just going to make everything look fresh and flawless and just make it last all day long on your skin all right you guys so that completes my drugstore makeup starter kit I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope it helped those of you who are just beginning in makeup and don't know where to start. Oh, and by the way, if you guys have already tried out some of the products that I featured in today's video, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you like the product. Let me know if you don't like the product. You guys know I love to know your thoughts on anything that I share on my channel. So let's go ahead and chit chat down below in the comments. And I think that is all that I have for today. So make sure you guys thumbs this video up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.